Greetings parcel mappers. What I want to show you here today with this tutorial is how to uh, shape parcels around a lake or natural boundary um, because the parcel fabric does not have the trace tool. So I'm going to show you a workflow here on how to uh, work around this. Uh, first of all, I've got a construction lines, a temporary uh, feature class here that I have available to me. Um, what I'm going to do with my construction lines First of all, we have to uh, we have to basically copy and paste new parcels in here. So what I'm going to do is using the trace tool, I'm going to go ahead and create some construction lines around here and trace the boundary that I want. So I want these two parcels, and I want to follow along the hydro my new hydro boundary, which is in light blue. And this is going to be approximate. I'm not uh, for the sake of time, I'm not zooming in and taking all the necessary time to make sure those are correct. I'm going to then follow my boundary around here. In this case, and I want to come up on the parcel boundary through here and split that out. And then I want to finish out over here, tracing that line. Okay, so now I have construction lines. If I toggle off my fabric, I can see those construction lines I just created. And what I want to do at this point is highlight those, and I want to copy, all right. Now I'm going to turn on my fabric, and what I want to do, these are the two parcels I'm going to replace. I'm going to start my editor on the fabric, and I'm going to then come in here with my fabric selector tool, highlight those two parcels and I'm going to toggle those as historic because the workflow I'm going to use requires me to uh, create a new parcel and we're going to see how we can uh, we're not going to use the new parcel uh, button here though we're going to go through a little different workflow this is what you need to do if you want to paste construction lines into the fabric we're going to go to the plan directory and create a new plan and you can give it a name if you want and enter information. In this case, I just created a generic plan. I'm going to right click and instead of new parcel, I'm actually going to go to construction. Once I have this, I'll see my parcel details dialog box pop up. Then this is the key. So I copied my lines earlier. I'm going to right click in the white space and hit paste. And once I do that, it's going to ask me my template. Okay, I want tax parcels. Now, so you see what it did for me here is it brought in my pasted lines that I had created previously. Now, I do see that this is a natural boundary or such that I don't want it to create all of these lines for this parcel. So what I'm going to do is highlight the ones that I know should be a natural boundary. We'll see if I can do this correctly here. We'll zoom in and check that. So it looks like that is correct. I'm going to right click over here. And in this case, I'm going to say, I'm going to create a line string. And you'll see it, it got rid of a lot of those points. It's basically just making it a line string instead of having separate segments. Then I'm going to do the same thing for this next section. And I'm dividing this out appropriately so I can try to select the right area. We zoom in here, we'll see. Looks like I need to go to 75. So right there, I'm going to right click and create line string. Okay. So you can see I'm cleaning up the data there. I'm going to leave these as regular lines because those are actual boundary lines. And at this point, I'm going to take this segment and I will add on, looks like we need to go over to 93. So I'm going to highlight those here. Okay, then I'm going to right click and create line string. Okay, so I've cleaned up those parcels before I create them and bring them in. So now my new parcel boundary is going to line with my hydro features here uh, because I pasted those construction lines in. So now at this point I'm going to use build and keep current because I already marked them historic. And we'll see, now we're brought up with the join dialog box and I can highlight my
corners. I'll finish it off with auto join. I'll go ahead and join those parcels into the fabric. And then we'll see that it will create new parcels and it allows me to, now what I need to do is make sure, I just need to make sure I go in and uh, assign attributes to these new parcels. Um, so I need to copy my pin number and all the information necessary there. But that's it. That's how you would uh, basically create or revise or edit your parcels to follow your hydro boundary lines in that situation. Because there's no trace tool in the fabric, this is probably the best workflow to go through. You mark them historic, you trace construction lines, and go ahead and paste the construction lines into the fabric when you create new parcels. All right, thanks for watching. Be sure to check us out at cloudpointgeo.com. Thanks. Bye-bye.